So we're on our way to get the tarp. I, I've been using this horse crap tarp for a month now with all these holes in it and it's completely driving me bat shit crazy. The thing's been catching on every item and every snag and even on the corners of the dumpster, it's been driving me nuts. I'm heading over to the first uh, project. I'm gonna use my old tarp one more time. I'll videotape just how bad it is and then I'm gonna videotape how nice it is to tarp with the new tarp. I'm also gonna take a video of how I put the tarp away versus folding it up. Schuylkill traffic in Philadelphia is killer. Deal with that on a daily basis. I'm going to untarp with a crappy tarp. I'm gonna show you how sucky a crappy tarp untarps. I got holes in the tarp and I'm gonna pull this tarp. It's getting caught on something because I got holes on my tarp. So now I gotta get my lazy butt up there and I'm gonna have to pull this down by hand manually and take off the tarp. So right now, little Vinny tells me I should fold this up. But you know what? I'm gonna fold this up. I'm gonna show you what he says I should do. Fold this up, fold it up, fold it up, fold it up. Folding up a tarp, what a waste of time. Haven't done this in 30 years. Boy, how do I even fold a tarp? All right, he says this is faster. And then he says to fold it up again, right? And then his theory is, is that it's gonna be faster for me to untarp it, which as opposed to me just bunching it up and throwing it in here. So Vinny says, fold it up. I say no, bunch it up. So what I'm gonna do is, on the next one, I'm gonna get the new tarp, I'm gonna bunch it up. So I just wasted like, I don't know, two minutes folding up a tarp. What I'm gonna do is on the next one, I'm gonna bunch it up and throw it in there. Number one, that's crappy tarp, folding it up. We're gonna do new tarp, not folding it up.
guys, I was thinking about it. What's the most important thing that I do every day? What I have in my lunchbox. One of the most important things I do every day to keep my self, I don't wanna say fit or, or, look, you could drink energy drinks, you could smoke cigarettes, you could eat candy. I'll be honest with you guys. I tell my guys, eat healthy, do your best. You're only gonna do yourself good. And I'll show you what's in my lunchbox. And I'm not gonna to preach to you about smoking and all that. Um, I don't smoke myself. I have a lot of uh, heart disease in my family. So the doctor says if I smoke, I'll probably drop dead. So I'm not gonna smoke anytime soon. I'm gonna show you what's in my lunchbox. I'm gonna explain why I think it's important. And then you can tell me and we can have a, uh, a discussion on what you guys eat. I'm gonna hit the lunch table. I'm gonna show you guys what's in my lunch box and we're gonna check this out. I think what's in my lunch box is what helps me mostly throughout the day. Bam, that's what mama makes me every day, guys. Yep, I call her mama. My wife is mama. So here we got it, bro. So cold pack, I don't like warm drinks. I'm not the healthiest eater in the world, but I'm not the worst eater in the world. We got the old Nana, can't go anywhere without a Nana. Got the every day. I've been eating this every day, guys. Mama makes me a tuna fish sandwich every day for the last 10 years. I know, 10 years tuna fish every day. I have a reason for that. And little bag of treats, look at that. Nature Valley, little Schneiders, and uh, chewy granola bar. Like, hold, let me open it up. Let me open this up, let me open this up. Got the Schneiders. These are the 100 calorie pack mini. And yes, they are shaped like little pretzels. They're not the pretzel sticks. We don't want the pretzel sticks. Nature Valley. I don't know. I don't know. It sounds, nature and Valley sounds healthy, right? Chewy chocolate chip stuff. And then we got the drinks. Stay hydrated. Now, Mama knows. Let's see, she didn't know I was doing the lunchbox video today. Two sodas? They're the, they're the small ones, 12 ounces. They're not the 16 ounces. They're the 12 ounces one. She never packs me two sodas. I have no idea why there's two sodas in there. I'm gonna have to talk to mama when we get home. That's the lunchbox. We're here at Harbor Freight. We're gonna pick up a tarp. And I'm gonna show you the difference between how much nicer it is to have a new tarp versus using a tarp with holes in it. And actually how much time it's gonna save you to have a new tarp versus a tarp with holes in it. So check it out. We're gonna go buy this tarp and we're gonna do a comparison. 20 by 16. 12 by 20, they're out of So guys, I got the new tarp from Harbor Freight. This is a good day. So I'm gonna go over some things with you when you're tarping. First of all, folded tarp. We're gonna get this tarp and we are done with that tarp. Tarp is going in the garbage. Sweet. That's a happy day right there. New tarp. I like to get a tarp. Now on a tarp, I use the 12 by 20. The reason is, is that the dumpsters are 16 feet long and they're eight feet wide. Um, that'll leave me two feet on the front and the back and on either side. So that'll leave me um, a nice good hangover if it has to stick up into the air. Now listen to me guys, this is good. you're gonna learn a lot on this. I know it's gonna seem like we're, I know it's gonna seem like there's not much to learn here, but mark my word, you'll be happy. The first thing you're gonna do is when you get your bungee cords, now I'm using these and everyone's gonna yell, laugh at me for using um, that's all I could find though in the truck. And you want to smash these down. The reason you want to smash these down is if you don't, they're going to want to come off. Alright, 
so let's get this tarp rolled out nice new tarp now watch how nice these tarps um, I'll do this myself so don't touch that mat because I want to show everyone how easy these new tarps go on now this can't just came out of the box so it's gonna be tough the first time it's unfolded is the worst time right okay there you go watch how nice this goes on the dumpster now I'm gonna tarp this up guys and what I'm gonna do is um, I'm gonna I'm gonna tarp this up and then I'm gonna tell you something about particularly Harbor Freight tarps. So I'm gonna take this over. Come over here, Matt. So the first thing you do is you drag it over and you're just gonna take your end of your tarp and you're just gonna hit, hook it onto the corner of your dumpster. You find your other corner, your long corner, and then you just pin up your two corners and you pin up your other corner up front because you always want two, like I say, because you want to, you don't want to depend on one and go from, and then it comes off. And look how nice it, it goes on. All right, so your first inclination is going to want to be to pull this real tight. Don't do that. Um, and here's, here's another trick that you have. If, if, if you only have one of these, this is a trick on how to use a bungee cord with one with one hook see there's no hook there's one this is the trick that no one knows I'm, I'm the master of this trick I created this trick so what you do is you put you put your um you put it around you do that now you have a place to cinch it look at that one hook one bungee cord so you wrap it around itself and bam it works that's a master that's a master uh, trick right there now these these um these hooks these eyes are completely trash. Don't put too much um, on Harbor Freight eyes. Don't put too much stress. You're gonna rip that right off your first day. I can't tell you how many times I've ripped those off the first day. And that's it, guys. That's a perfectly tarp tarp in like 30 seconds. I'll ball it up at the dump and I'll throw it in. It's the easiest way that I find to um, to tarp and untarp a dumpster and now when this comes off there's no holes in it it'll come flying right off the dumpster um, and let me show you something up here you're always going to have something that's going to protrude into your tarp now if you can when you're tarping a dumpster if you see something popping up take it off or you know try to smash it down but you're always going to have something protruding up and it's going to want to get caught on it so what you want to do is when you're taking this off at the dump don't just rip it you're going to rip a hole in it the first day you get a dumpster try to like gingerly take it off if you feel something that's getting caught on stop jump up there and take it off because that will just be another big rip and then you're going to ruin 50 bucks we just paid 50 bucks for the tarp we don't want to have to um, go spend another 50 bucks all right guys that's it that's the tarp video have a nice day